So I suppose it is an information programme for people with a diagnosis of uh, schizophrenia, schizoaffective disorder, or a diagnosis of bipolar disorder. A model which would really be based on collaboration between the professional service providers, if you like, and the people on the ground who are experiencing these difficulties in their everyday lives. And really it was starting on that basis that we developed the, you know, the OLIS model, which was in a sense designed to form a bridge. And it was developed I suppose, in conjunction with the people who use services and with family members. So I think that's what makes one piece of it that makes it unique. So it's not just that the, there's a clinician uh, delivering this information. There hasn't been a model which incorporates both perspectives and which I suppose knits together and harnesses the energies that can be gained from both perspectives. So Olus was, is the first attempt really to bring those two together. I think that the peer element within the group is very powerful because what we are hearing then from the people who, who come on the programme, how I suppose e empowering it is in terms of to see a peer. Uh, so that person acts as very much as a point of hope. You know, I don't have that sense of isolation. A number of people have commented on how impressed they were and motivated they were to observe somebody from their own peer group who, has, who is operating as the facilitator of the group or co-facilitator of the group and who is, has the confidence to stand up and actually coordinate as an equal with the clinical coordinator. We were very conscious that we were hearing from people who were using the mental health services about a, a lack of information. You know, I suppose and it comes back down to the whole area that information is power. And if people have the information, um, they're more likely to engage with services, but they're also more likely to engage in their own recovery and their own recovery journey. I suppose one of the things that comes across for family members is being considered, I suppose, part of the team working together with the person themselves who has psychosis and with the clinicians working to the common goal of recovery. And I suppose families were equally saying that they felt very left out of the decision-making process and because of they have been lacking knowledge they found it hard maybe to get engaged in decision-making process. Part of I suppose the, the process of engagement is about maybe developing their own recovery plan and knowing who, the, who is going to be the key person in their Life. People have a great sense of release when they have the opportunity to compare experiences with other people who've been through very similar things. We know that from the, the research that it has increased their confidence in terms of engaging with services, confidence in asking questions of uh, clinicians, confidence in maybe challenging clinicians. The amount of energy that people bring into the room that's in a way just waiting there to be tapped and in supporting each other as people who have a shared experience of difficulty, either as a family member or as a person with experience of psychosis. We heard from people saying, you know, I, my son was, was hearing voices, but I never really understood what that meant. And getting a greater understanding about what that meant for somebody, and then therefore a greater understanding of how to communicate with, with the person. The participants have really appreciated that combined pr approach. Olus itself is the, is the Irish word for kind of knowledge and um, so I think that that's the, the background to it.